just take my praise. And my praise is an indication that I still believe.
I sleep all this in the day. My spine, my toes, my calves, my knees, my elbows. My knuckles will all be here. My ears, my nose. I'm not keeping nothing up.
to worship. But some of you, you miss it out on your altar moment. The altar is not just a place where folks are looking and trying to mind your business. I promise you, it's a bloody place. It's a place where things die. Go back and read your scripture. You will find that every great man in the scripture had an altar. There's not a great man in the scripture who didn't have an altar. And the reason he had an altar, because the altar was the place where we gave things. That's why when we take up our altar, that's why we don't take it up in the corner. That's why we don't take it up in the pews. We take it at the altar because the altar is the place where we give. All right, Jesus, Jesus. Not just money, but we give ourselves.
we gotta have common sense. That is the problem. The sense is common. Two comments on the power of love. But when we step out of our own self, like verse two, it says, so forget about yourself and concentrate on him and worship Christ. We just sing it because it sounds good. But when are we gonna start really believing what it is that we say? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's let's do it together. Father, in the name of Jesus. We come again to you. Because we trust you. We thank you. With our eyes have seen. With our ears have heard. We thank you. Visitation of your Holy Spirit. We know you well enough to know that you're in the room again. We thank you for not avoiding us. We still pray. Come on, we thank you for not hiding from us. But you've come tonight into this room, and our souls can testify that it was you again. Now, God. As we bring this time, this service, to a close, we ask you now to keep us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. We pray, Lord Jesus, that this just wasn't an encounter, but it's a lasting relationship that shall maintain the rest of our evening into our week and throughout our life. And you will live. So we all have prayer. It's not praying. And you will live. Come on, come on. I got stuck with everything else. And you will live. And you will move. And you will have our being. We're not ashamed of you. You're our God. You're our King. You're the Bishop over our life. And we ask you to maintain your presence, your power, your wisdom, your authority. Over our lives, to the crown of our head, to the sole of our feet, your anointing. Take over, take over, God. Take over, God. I belong to you. I belong to you. All of me belongs to you. You said if you be your people, that you would be our God. You're not a man that you should lie, but the son that you should be. We think that you said. We think that you said. So be our God. And tonight, we need you. In the throne of His power, which we pastor, you ain't been here for a while, and I've been preaching. So that I've been preaching to the preaching that when God wants to do his business, shut your mouth. Huh? God knows who he wants to do. Now you don't have to preach God in the movement. The Bible said that the cloud descended into the temple. And the minister could not minister because the presence of the time. The presence of God takes precedence over everything else. God required, required a praise today. We started on this morning. I'm so glad that Pastor won't be here with a praise spirit so we can finish up what we started this morning. Thank you. Thank you. To me, you work just as hard. You work just as hard as you preach. You got the job done. Oh. And I want y'all to look for me to pay attention to something. But we know y'all got them strong voices and got it going on. We know that. But you see how you see how them seasoned folk. Did you see how them seasoned folk 
Tell them how to die and show them.